Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect these serial ATI hard disks directly to your laptop using USB. And it's a very simple process that works for both 3.5 inch hard disk as well as these smaller serial ATI hard disk. And along with that, I'll also show you a bonus method using which you can connect these to your phone as well. So let's get started. So this is the hard disk that we'll be using for our demo today. And this is basically a 3.5 inch serial ATA hard disk with these kind of connectors. So usually when you're connecting this to your desktop, you'll be using a power cable and a data. Uh, sorry, this one is the power cable and then this one is the data cable. And that's how it connects to your desktop. Now to connect this to your laptop, what you need is a serial ATA to USB connector. And so this will do all the data transfer part. Along with this, you also need a power adapter, something that will supply 12 volts of you know power supply to the hard disk. So these are the two things that you need to connect this to your laptop. And uh, this comes as a bundle. So you get this stuff as a bundle. But if you have a 12 volt adapter at home, then uh, you can just use that. There's no need to go with the bundle and you can just buy this cable. So now let's see how we can connect this to our laptop. So the connector will plug in directly to your hard disk and you just need to ensure that these notches are aligned with the notches on your hard disk. So that's about it for the connector part. And now we can connect this to the power supply. So before we do that, ensure that you place it on the table on a flat surface, because you know, these hard disks have moving components and you do not want to move them around when you're, you know, actually powering it on and the spindles inside it start moving. So I've kept it on a, flat surface and now on this adapter itself there is a provision to power this device so i've connected the power cable as well and now we can connect this usb cable to the laptop so initially only these two drives were appearing on my laptop and now you can see that videos E and F have also started appearing and I can easily go in here and, you know, transfer the data that I need. And we can also go in disk management and see how this looks. So I'm going to go in the disk management utility. So here as well, you can see this is my laptop disk, which is disk zero. And then now it has detected disk one, which is the external hard disk. So now let's take this out and we will try connecting the smaller one as well. This one is the 2.5 inch hard disk. So let's try connecting this here again. We need to just match these edges with the uh, match the notches or the pins with the pins on the hard disk and it will simply snap in. Yeah, so this one also worked fine. Now we can see the disk one here and similarly it will appear in your, uh, you know, the my computer where you see your hard disk. All right, now let's get to the fun part, which is to connect this to your phone. Uh, and for doing that, what I'm going to do is use this OTG adapter, which will basically convert USB to type C and I can plug this directly over here and then connect this to my phone. So over here, you can see that my phone has detected this hard disk, but it's showing some issue with it. And it's asking me to do a tap to fix. If uh, this is something that you see on your phone as well, do not do this because you know, it will ask you to format your hard disk. So this is not something that you want to do normally. Uh, if this is what it shows, then probably this, you know, this setup is not working with your phone and uh, you might want to use it with your laptop. 
never go for this format option unless you have a backup of your hard disk. So here I have a backup of my hard disk. So I'll anyway do the format. And now basically if I go into my file manager, I can see this as an external drive. So under all storage, let me just zoom in a little bit over here. So under all storage, I have my internal storage, which shows as 3.7 GB free. And then this is the additional space that I get where, you know, right now there's nothing because I did a format, but you know, I can add data to it. So that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this process, then you can add those in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So thank you again for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.